Yo, Chicago, if you ain't up on the morning, right? I have to ask you about uh, Nikki and Lil' Kim, of course, two female hip-hop artists in the mm -hmm. game. They got a little beef going right now. How do you feel mm -hmm. when you see two females being pitted against each other mm -hmm. in this business? And I'm telling you something. I would love to hear a uh, Mary J, Lil' Kim, Nicki Minaj record. I think that would blow crazy. the industry. Yes. It would be, would it would be, be bananas. That's crazy. Absolutely. Bananas. Mary, you need to reach out and make it happen. Look, I. Mary, <laughs> <laughs> you're putting a lot no, of right no, now. I, I love and I love and respect. Kim is my friend, mm -hmm. you know, From way back, we and all I know. love and respect Nikki. You know, just met her, just got to know a young mm -hmm. lady, and she's a sweetheart. I prayed and hope that they all. People would just, you know, because it's people putting more right. fuel on it, you know? Because it seems and like then, two female yeah. uh, rappers can't coexist, but, you know, you got 20, 30 male rappers out here. They're allowed to coexist. Right. Why is it with every time we get Even two after, female always rappers? Us, Even gotta, after being right. right. They got to be against each other. Right. I mean, you know, it's the crews. You know, it's the people behind the whole thing. I mean... Maybe one day it'll happen. I, mm -hmm. I'm hoping. You know, mm -hmm. we just got to all think positive. Everybody's just thinking so negative about it, and everybody's right. in it. But if a bunch of people would say, yo, stop this, and let's help these girls, okay. to, you know, mm -hmm. to do something together, you know, or to see the light, you know? I, you, you know. I think that joint would yeah. be ridiculous. Phenomenal. Yes. What? Mary, we were looking at um, the Pierce Morgan interview the other day, and mm -hmm. a lot of people are making comments on all the blogs all over the place saying, Mary says she wanted to be like Beyonce. She envies Beyonce's life as a child. Mm -hmm. Do you want to clear that up and address that nonsense? I never said I envy Beyonce's life. I, I, I want to be Beyonce. I said I wish that I had parents like her. Mm -hmm. I never said big, I. Big difference. First of all, I, I love Beyonce yeah. to death, right? I respect her. The high, the, the utmost highest, mm -hmm. and why would I? I'm Mary J. Blige. Absolutely, like, that's I'm, enough. I'm me, <laughs> like I would never say I envy Beyonce's life or any other artist's yeah. female art. People are stupid. That is, that was so. <laughs> I'm like, what are they talking about? And at the end about? of the day, you gotta just, know that people make up their own stuff. They take what verse? I because I, I remember spe specifically what I said. Mm -hmm. I said I looked at her life. I said, wow, I wish I had that. Mm -hmm. That's wow. just wishing that you had parents like that. Right. Wishing that you had the whole upbringing yes, and everything. I, right. I really do wish I had that. Mm -hmm. There's nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. That's not envy. And at the end of the day, right. you gotta yeah. know Beyonce came up wishing she could be like Mary exactly. J. Blige. I, I, I mean, we gotta know that she had an idol too. We're talking yeah. Mary J. Exactly. Blige, Tony Scott in the Morning Riot Show. Two-part question. One is, like, out of the catalog that you have, what is, like, your favorite song that you ever, you've ever done? And two, when was your, your moment of clarity where you was like, yo. I'm MJB. I'm MJB. <laughs> Damn it. Look, this is what it is. Man, it was, um, I think it was during the Breakthrough album when I was like, I, you know, I could do this. Okay. Like, I, I got this. this. Right. And... My favorite song, I got a lot of favorite songs. I can't. But if you had, if I, if if you had to pick that one, my, my, my life. My life. See what I'm it. talking about? And I don't mm -hmm. feel bad because it's been plenty of night. I done summertime, rolled around, top down, banging. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm feeling like real it. good right now. Hey, I've got to ask you about something I saw on EUR Web to mm -hmm. where uh, it said that you kind of admitted doubting. Uh, your husband's love for you at first. Explain that, especially being in the industry mm -hmm. and, you know, you got to share so much of your life with people. How hard is it to also maintain a good relationship, a good marriage? And did you even say that and, and what was meant by it? <laughs> right. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> well, look at where I come from. I've never met a man in my life that could treat me right, mm -hmm. right? So I was already jaded, and then here comes this guy that cares. I'm like, whoa. Did he catch the flack initially from the <laughs> other, like, from the, the previous guys? And he, he's like, hold he, on, this he, is Kim Do. I'm not, I'm right. not them. He, he, yeah. he caught, a, he caught uh -huh. a bit of it. Mm -hmm. Yes, he did. Just, I'm not going to, you know me, I'm not going to say it live. Right. He did, but I straightened up real quick because I realized that somebody actually really, really cared for me. Is he your but, soulmate? I, I guess, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. we here, we kicking it. Right, right, we in it. Uh -huh. Hard. But, um, yeah. Is it hard, though, to maintain those type of relationships and good marriages when you have to share so much and, and the industry, you got people into your business all the time? Is mm -hmm. is it hard to do, or do you find a place where you get into a comfort level and it's like, hey, we good? Um, well, the only part that's hard is the management, the, the him being my manager mm -hmm. and me being his wife. Mm -hmm. It you know if that's, that gets kind of complicated sometimes. Who wins out at the end, the manager can do or the husband can do? 
Um, the wife Mary. The <laughs> wife Mary, right. We know. <laughs> you can do crazy as hell. Okay, dear. All right. We'll try it your way first. Boom, 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 boom. That is. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's next for you, Mary J? We need to know. Everybody, all of your fans are listening, and, and we mm-hmm. need to know, like, what can we expect from you next? Well, right now, it's just this album. Mm-hmm. Right now, my life, too, is everywhere. It's in the stores everywhere. Mm-hmm. Um, I got a movie coming out in June. What is it, June? Mm-hmm. It's called The Rock of Ages. Wow. What's, what's, what, what's the movie about? Well, it's a comedy. Okay. It's a comedy, Broadway. It was a Broadway musical that got turned into a movie. Oh, okay. Wow. Look and, at Mary um, doing her thing. I love it. I'm trying to find a little small movie coming out. I took me some acting classes. I'm, right. I'm, 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 I'm grinding. Who's else in the movie with you? Um, Tom Cruise, Catherine Zeta-Jones, wow. Wow. Paul what? Giamatti. Top villain right there. Ron, uh, uh, Russell Brand, and um, just the list, the this, oh my God! She didn't Mary say like Tiny and Zeus me. list of stuff. <laughs> right. Talking about nomination, right? Yes. Wow, yeah. that's awesome. Now yeah. you said you had to take some uh, acting classes. Like, how did you feel going in there? Even though you took acting classes, uh-huh. it still can't prepare you for going on set with Tom Cruise. I'm sure you were still like. Whoa. I was nervous, but I did the work. You did your thing. I did my work. I Do it. Everything. I love that. I didn't need other questions before did we let Tom Mary Cruise, right uh, crazy ass, try to convert you to Scientology. <laughs> oh, uh, don't do that. <laughs> that he was so hell. supportive. Was he? It might be, but next thing you know, you worshiping <laughs> aliens with a beads um. around your wrist. <laughs> <laughs> Talk no, about come no. get me. Mary, I just want to say no. thank you for your style. Your style is impeccable. I thank love you. your boot Swag. game. Your shoes are crazy. Thank I'm you. not quite, you know, Giuseppe money yet, but I'm like balling on a budget. And I watch you and I'm like, okay, I can go get those. I can go to Nordstrom's, you know, sacks every now and then. But uh, <laughs> well, thank you. I love it. I just want to speak for all the men out there. Schoolboy crushes, Jack. Man. What's the 411? You in the alley. Yes. I broke up with my girlfriend because I was like, I'm going to be with Mary J. Blige. And she was like, you ain't going to never meet her. I said, watch. Watch. Hey, now, before, uh, before we let you go, man, I just want to ask we you. we married. Of course, we have, a whole lot of, we have a whole lot of young female listeners out there. If you could just impart any words of wisdom on our female listening audience, especially the youngsters out there, what would you say coming from Mary J. Blige? Wow. I, I um... Just believe in yourself when nobody else does, especially when people don't believe in you and they don't believe you have it. You know what you have. You know who you are. Believe. That's it. All right, y'all. Wise words from a girl, Mary J. Blige. Understand the that album if you can't My Life 2, The Journey it. Continues, Act 1, which means there will be another one. Keep it real with yourself. It's in stores right now. Keep Go out and copy. Keep it real with yourself. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mary J. We appreciate you. You're you. welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. Yo, weekdays starting at 5 a.m. Only on GCI.